back to episode two of season three of Three Growlers. Today we're going to be talking about uh, spring and summer seasonals, and we're going to be talking about kolsches and saisons and all sorts of great uh, beers. Plus, we have some special guests and special giveaways. So grab a beer and kick back with us. I'm Will. I'm Vicky. Jason. Aaron. And I'm Chris. Here's you guys. Prost. Woo! Prost. Prost. Okay, guys, before we get into the beers today, uh, Brow Brothers was kind enough to uh, give us some uh, free swag to give away on our show. We got a couple t-shirts, some patches, a few keychain bottle openers. So if you are interested in winning some of this free swag, enter in a comment down below. Tell us what you like about the show on our YouTube channel. For those of you who are listening on our other channels, such as iTunes and uh, other podcast channels, make sure you come on over to our YouTube because it's only exclusively on our YouTube channel. Again, leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. And uh, you'll be entered in to win uh, one of these great prizes. Okay, so for our next uh, spring seasonal, um, if you guys follow our blog, we just uh, did a big, huge article on uh, on saisons, uh, which we then again covered uh, when we were on cases 99.9. Um, and so we brought in probably the most worldwide recognized uh, saison, which is Saison Dupont from, uh, how did you pronounce that word again? Brasserie. Brasserie Dupont from Belgium. This is a 6.5 ABV beer, and I'm going to read off the company description here. This is a coppery blonde beer uh, with the finest aromas and a strong bitterness that transformed this beer into a thirst quencher with no equal, just the way it was created. The selection of yeasts is the perfect base for these typical aromas, and ditto for the taste. Should we crack open into this one, guys? Absolutely. Definitely. So here we have our uh, Saison de Pont, and we've just poured it out. It's got a nice, thick, foamy white head to it, and a good, hazy, uh, I would call it a, a pale straw color. Not quite the coppery blonde I was uh, promised in the description here. Definitely. I think that it, it does fall into quite a lighter uh, SRM scale than what they're describing in the uh, description from the brewery itself. Are you guys picking up that, that horse blanket flavor um, out of this beer? I definitely get uh, some musty kind of notes from it, and I believe that's you know due to the uh, age of the brewery. Uh, I believe a lot of their tanks are open air fermented, uh, which allows a lot of the natural yeast and spores and different you know things from the environment to enter into the beer to give it its unique characteristics. A lot of times I found you know with, with trying to describe beer. A lot of times people just don't know the words to use. They know what they're experiencing, but they don't know the proper words to put into it. So, I mean, a lot of what I'm doing is just trying to provide some of the... the Context. Well, yeah, the, yeah. the things that help remind you of, you know, it, for me, it's always trying to think of a situation that, you know, remember that I remember something similar to that yeah. smell or that taste, and that helps me kind of put words to it. So, Erin, yeah. so, what are your thoughts on the beer? So I, I think it has a very nice mild um, taste to it. I'm not um, picking up some of those the, the smells and things like I said, um, but I can I can get the um, the lemon grass and the um, the freshly mowed lawn um, kind of smells in there as you explain that. Um, but it reminds me a bit of um, Delirium Tremens, um, even though that is not a saison. Correct. correct? Um, but I'm guessing that 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 uh, kind of aftertaste from it is is a Belgian quality for a beer. Yes, it's um, so definitely characteristic of a lot of the yeast strains that they use in Belgium for producing beers. Hey, Will, are there any other saisons in the area that um, that I could try to compare? You know, that's a really great question, but for this one, I'm going to have to defer to Chris on this one like I have been for most questions tonight. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Chris, why don't you tell us about uh, Minnesota's uh, premier saison? Well, I work, as you know, I work with Liftbridge Brewing Company out of Stillwater, Minnesota, and we produce Farm Girl Saison, which is one of the most popular and also most known Saisons produced in Minnesota. Would you guys like to try some? Sure, absolutely. absolutely. Wonderful. What about this beer? So this is our version of a traditional uh, Belgian Saison, uh, where we do use a Belgian yeast strain with it, uh, and then you know traditional malts and hops to go along with it. So it's going to be very light in color, a little bit more cloudy than the Saison Dupont was, but it's going to have the same characteristics with a very light, you know, citrus kind of body to it, and uh, very easy drinking with a very clean finish to it that's uh, very palate cleansing. It makes it very drinkable on a hot summer day. I'm noticing uh, one of the key differences that I'm no noticing right away in the aroma is I'm picking up more of the citrus, and I'm picking up less of that, that hay blanket. 
Definitely, definitely. Uh, because we are, a, you know, a brewery in the United States and uh, a modern brewery, uh, we don't have open air, open air fermentation vessels uh, like a lot of the traditional breweries do in Belgium and Germany. So it, everything's, uh, you know, we have hold things to a little bit of a higher standard for cleanliness, uh, which you know carries through with the beer. I'm also noticing that there's a little bit more carbonation to this one. Um, again, I will take that because uh, the closed vessels might have something to do with that. It, it definitely does. It's also uh, it has to do with the uh, fermentation. Uh, with the fermentation on this beer, it does have a lot of uh, residual sugar that does, you know, create more carbonation in the finished product. Yeah, excellent. It's a, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's always one of my favorite Minnesota beers. I mean, I've been on a real big saison kick uh, for the last couple of years, and this is one of my go-tos. So. Um, but Aaron, you've had the opportunity here now to drink these two side by side. Uh, what, are you, what are you picking up on these? Um, I would say that the, the farm girl has a little bit more of a, a cleaner taste to it. Um, not as much of, not as strong of a, an aftertaste to it, and that's probably the hay the taste. The musty. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, I really like it. I think that's very good. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, thanks for joining us, Chris, and thanks for bringing this along. Prost. 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 Well, guys, that's all for our episode on uh, spring seasonal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh, don't forget, if you want to enter in on one of our giveaways, uh, make sure to leave a comment uh, down on our YouTube channel, uh, down in the comment section, and also click the like button and uh, let us know you're out there. So we're also available out on YouTube, iTunes, uh, Stitcher, and a lot of other podcast directories. And don't forget to visit our blog at beerploma.com. That's all for tonight. Prost. 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 Delirium tremendous. Delirium, Jesus Christ. Well,